Because what the what the officer is doing, he's trying to save your life. He's saving your life. Because this is literally life or death. Titus 1 and 6. Give me Titus 1 and 16. Oh, I'm sorry. Titus chapter 1 and verse 16. They profess that they know God. Everybody say they know God. Everybody say they are Christian. Every Christian pastor that comes about here say they know God. Every person that walks up here say they know God. I know God. He know my heart. Read. You know, but in works. In what? But in works. In works. Not because that you said you know God. It said in works. But in works, they deny him. They what? They deny him. Like I was just saying, go put a dress on. I ain't got time to do that. It said in works. That's how you know God when you're doing what he say do. Read. They deny him being abundable. They what? They deny him being abundable. They deny him being abominable. When you say that, say, I can't put on a dress, you are denying God being abominable. That's what the officer was bringing out. We are an abomination to God when we don't do his word. Give me that in, uh, uh, I'll finish that up. And, diso and disobedience and unto every good work reprobate. You do not believe. You're going to be disobedient because you don't want to do the works. That means that you do not believe. If God say put on a dress and you don't, that means you don't believe. You're going to talk and say, hey, I love God. He know my heart. But when he say do this, when your parents told you to clean up that room, did you do it? Yes. And what, if you didn't, what happened? You got your ass whooped. That's what happened. That's what God is doing to us right now. He is whooping our ass because we don't want to do what he say do. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 51. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Uh -huh. The sons have fainted. Our sons and our daughters have fainted. How have we fainted? Because why? We want to celebrate uh, birthdays. We want to celebrate Easter, right. Christmas. We want to celebrate uh, New Year's it's Eve. Mother's it says Mother's Day. It says our sons have fainted. Right. We dropped dead. We they lie at the head of all the streets. Look around, sister. The Bible said we lie at the heads of all the streets. Every street corner we go to, whether it's Platte City, Inslee, West End, our men are out there hanging out in the corners. They're hanging out at all the heads of the street. Read. As a wild bull. As a what? As a wild bull. As a wild bull, high, drunk, ready to kill somebody, ready to kill somebody that look like them. I ain't seen not one damn racist cop dead. And, and we killing each other every day. We kill each other every day. We. In a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Our young men are full of the fury because why? They don't have examples. You got the older men drinking with the younger men. You got the older sisters dressing like whores, and the younger sisters gonna do the same thing. There's no order. God is about order. There's no structure in the black community. The black woman is not raised to be a wife. We what we tell our black women, hey, get yours, be independent. Tell them to put a ring on it. Get the bag. All black women are not raised to be wives. God said you are supposed to be a helpmate to your husband. Not to come out here and show your body to every man. We, we want sisters go in and out that store. The old men are the ones who are looking at their behind. The old men are doing that. So what do you think the younger men going to do? Going to look right at them. They're going to look right at their behind. That's what we teaching in our community. Get yours. Be a hoe, just like a hoe, and get yours. That's what we teach it. But you're supposed to be teaching the, uh, give me that in Titus 2. Give me that right quick. Let me show you what you're supposed to be teaching, Sue. But you got to get yourself together. You got to put that dress on and them friends on, that modest dress. Read that. Titus 2 and 3. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Read it out. The age woman. The age woman. That's you, sister. You the age woman. Read. Likewise. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. That what? As becometh holiness. Free. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not giving too much wine. You're not going to have no woman out here, God, out here drinking, being false accusers. You're not going to be in every man's face. Read on. Teach us of good things. So the woman can teach. It said the woman's going to be teachers of good things. Right. Let's see what she's going to be teaching. Read. That they may be cheats, that they may cheat 
The young woman. Teach the who? The young woman. Teach the who? The young woman. That's your job, sister. You're supposed to be teaching the young women. You're supposed to be teaching the young women to put their dress on, cover their body up, get a husband. You don't want to have a dang old boyfriend. You're supposed to have a husband. That's who, that you can't you can't go around sleeping from man to man. You you in your twenties, you going from rod to rod. Then when you get in your fifties, you want to settle down and get married. Right? No, hell no. God says save that for your husband. Right. Read to be sober, uh -huh. to love their husbands. The women have to be taught to love their husbands. Right? Do you understand that? You have to be taught to love your husband because why? I just said it. We are not raised to be. Wise, read. To love their children. They even got to be taught to love their children. How many times we see these ostrich women out here leave their kids in a car, in a hot car, or they'll leave their kids in a, in a, in, at home while they go to the club? It said you have to be taught to love your own children. Read. To be discreet. Chase keep us at home. That's not the black woman today. That's not the black woman that's made in, in America. Because why? The black woman is always in some man's face. The black woman is always in some man's face. The black woman has to get the last word in the household. God said you got to be discreet. Read. Good. Obedient to their own husband. Uh, obedient to who? To their own husband. Obedient to their boyfriends. To their own husband. Obedient to your own husband at home. And we're not talking about no uh, no average Negro in the streets. We're talking about a man of God. Right. A man that's going to be keeping these uh, law, statutes, and commandments. That's, that's right. what we're talking about. Give me y'all. That's it on that. Give me 2 Ezra 9 and verse 10. 2 Ezra 9 and verse 10. Because, sister, we, we, look, sister, we, we, we can deal with you all day. If you're going to stand right here and listen, we can deal with you all day. The most high God said he'll save one person in the whole city. Sister, if you repent, we have, our job is done. Our job is done, sister. Read. Second address, chapter 9 and verse 10. For such as in their life have received. Benefit. It's saying in your life you have received benefits. You might have that house. Right. You might have that car. You might have that good job. You might have things going on for you, your own business. It's saying you're going to receive benefits. Read. And have not known me. You ain't known God, though. Who, so who giving you all these nice things? Because we associate materialistic things with God. God gave me this house. God gave me this car. So you think the strippers that's on the stripper pole, you think God is, is, is blessing them with money? You think the dope boys that's out here selling dope, is God blessing the trap? No, God is not blessing that. That's Satan blessing that. But we associate materialistic things with, with um, the God, with most high God. Read. And they that have loathed my law. They have what? They that have loathed my law. You are unwilling to do the law. Because you got you receiving benefits, so you say, I'm good. I'm unwilling to do the laws of God. Read. Well, they had yet liberty. It said you got liberty. That's why you out here, you marching in the streets. You out here, you uh you can post on Facebook. You can pretty much say whatever you want to until you say you're an Israelite. You can promote homosexuality. Those are liberties that this that the America has given us. We, we can profess to be a boy or a girl. Whatever sex we want to be, we can marry animals. It said we have got we have had liberties. Read. And when and yet place of repentance was open unto them. Now this is the place of repentance. So we are here giving you the word. It said when you have a place of repentance that's open unto you, read. Understood not what? Understood now. You didn't understand it. Because why? You got your house. You got your cars. You got everything going on for you. So you're saying God is in the midst of that. But I'm telling you, God is not in the midst of it if you're not keeping the commandments of God. Right. He's not in the midst of it. Read. But despise it. But you despise the uh, repentance. And you understand repentance is only given to the, to the so-called Israelites. You so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. You have a repentance open up unto you, but you loathe at God's laws. You don't want to do it. Read. The same must know it's after death by pain. Whoa, that is heavy right there. That's heavy because y'all ain't going to, that's one thing about our people. What, what's your mama you say? A hard head make a what? 
I saw a pad. That's what God is saying right here. He saying that hard head, you going to know that I've been putting this bed on you when you die because you're going to be in pain. Read it again. The same must know it after death by pain. By feeling good? By pain. By pain, sister. You understand that? Because you, we have to come back to God's laws. Let's get that Deuteronomy 22 and 5 again. We're going to bring it out again for you, sister. And hopefully you should be running to put on a, a dang old dress. Because why? It's a it's a spirit behind women wearing pants. Right. Because it brings on a what? A manly spirit. Right. Because what we say, uh, I wear the pants in this household. I wear the pants. And women put pants on and that's what they say. It brings on a manly spirit. Hold on. Read. Do that run to me. Chapter 22 and verse 4. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Sisters, this dealing with y'all too. It said the Bible said, if y'all believe in the Bible, it said a woman should wear that pertains to a man because why? Your body should be for your husband. Y'all don't want to get married. Are you married? You not? Are you married, sister? No, because why? It said y'all y'all showing your body out to all the men. Every time y'all walk in the store, believe it or not, sister, I know you're making that face, believe it or not, men are looking at your body. But when they see your body in those tight pants, it's the first thing that comes to their mind is, Dang, that's a good wife. Or I want to sleep with her. What's first? You said what? They'll never, I don't know what the sister said, but that's like I said, we read before. You loaf at God's laws. That's the truth. Because we all have been on the other side of this. We know what men think. When a man see a woman in tight pants and half naked, they automatically think sex. Right. Let's be honest with each other, sister. Right. We, we family. We have to be honest with, with one another. We have to be honest. The first thing we think about is having sex with that sister. It's not to be. It's not to be my wife. We have to change that it psyche. Matter. It really don't matter what you got on. They still don't want. It does matter. It does matter. Fifty-two and one. Sorry about that. Isaiah chapter fifty-two and verse one. Awake, awake! Put on that script. Isaiah. God had to say it twice. Awake, awake! Put on your strength. Put on your strength. We put on that beautiful garment. Put on that. That's that. Did it say uh, skin leg type pants? Put on that beautiful garment. Put your beautiful garment on, sister, because that is your strength. That's your strength. It does matter what you have on. It does matter, sister. It does. Matter what you but you keep it, sister. I guarantee you. I guarantee if you change the way you dress, it's gonna change your spirit. If you change the way you dress, it's gonna change your spirit. Whatever they look, they won't be able to see nothing if they're looking at you. They're gonna see royalty. That's what they used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.